As a busy working mom, do you feel you have a lot on your plate and struggle to keep up with your busy schedule? Do you find that you're too busy looking after everyone else that you don't have the time to get the things you want done? The key to doing more is to doing less. I know that it is hard to hear, but there is not enough time to do everything, but there is definitely enough time to do the important things. Stick around as I share with you how you can balance the important things, work, family, personal time, and still have time for your self-care. It can be overwhelming and it's easy to feel guilty when you don't get everything done. But there is a way to find balance and reduce stress and it's all about redefining success. I've recently read an amazing book called I Didn't Do the Thing Today by Madeline Dahl. This book is a game changer for moms who are struggling to juggle it all. Dawe challenges us to think about what it really means to be successful. She encourages us to let go of unrealistic expectations and to focus on what's truly important. She also teaches us how to be more mindful and present in the moment. If you haven't already read the book, I Didn't Do the Thing Today by Madeline Dahl, then check out my affiliate link in the description. As an Amazon associate, I make a small commission from qualified purchases. So what is redefining success important for busy working mums? Because as working mums, we're constantly bombarded with messages about what we should be doing and how we should be doing it. We're told that we need to have a successful career, raise happy and healthy children, and maintain a perfect home. But the truth is, it's impossible to do everything and perfectly. When we try to live up to these unrealistic expectations, we set ourselves up for failure. And when we fail, we feel guilty. And this guilt can lead to stress, anxiety, and burnout. That's why it's important to redefine success on our own terms. We need to decide what's truly important to us and to focus on those things. We also need to be more compassionate with ourselves and give ourselves permission to fail and to learn. So how can we redefine success? Well, there are a few things that we can do. Number one is to identify our values. We've got to check in with what's truly important to us. Is it our career? Is it our family? What about our personal well-being? Once we know our values, we can start to make decisions that align to those values. Number two, we need to set realistic goals. When we are unrealistic with our goals, we are setting ourselves up for failure. Instead, we need to set small, achievable goals that can build over time and also give us that feeling of progression, which ultimately leads to success. And thirdly, we have to celebrate our accomplishments. It's important to take the time to celebrate our successes, no matter how small, and this helps us stay motivated and on track. Busy moms, I know you do the same for your children. You often acknowledge and recognize the amazing little things that your children do. You need to do the same for yourself. Don't have such high expectations because you are taking away the joy in achieving and accomplishing those many successes. How can the book, I Didn't Do the Thing Today, help us to redefine success? Madeline Dawes book help us explore our relationship with productivity and guilt. The book includes exercises and prompts that help us to identify our beliefs and successes, challenge our unrealistic expectations, develop more compassionate self-talk, and practice mindful productivity. By working through the exercises in the book, we can start to redefine success on our own terms and create a more balanced and fulfilling life. If you are a busy, stressed out working mum, I highly recommend checking out this book. I didn't do the thing today. It's a book that can change your life. So what are you waiting for? 
pick up a copy of the book today and start your journey towards a more balanced and fulfilling life. Let me give you some additional tips to help you redefine success as a working mum. Don't be afraid to say no. It's okay to say no to extra work or commitments if you don't have the time or energy to take them on, especially if they don't align to what you're trying to achieve. Delegate. If you have the ability to delegate tasks, do it. This will free up your time so you can focus on the things that are most important to you. Take breaks. It's important to take breaks throughout the day, even if it's just for a few minutes. Get up, move around, or do something that you enjoy. I love listening to music. Just one song can completely shift my energy and my state of being into one of feeling low to one of feeling positive and high energy. Don't forget and don't be afraid to ask for help from your family, friends, and colleagues. They are people who care about you and want to support you and may not be aware that you need help. Remember, you are not alone. There are many working mums who are struggling to find balance. But by redefining success on our own terms, we can create a more sustainable and fulfilling life for ourselves and our families. If you find that you are feeling stuck, that you are constantly on a treadmill, but feel unfulfilled, then I recommend you check out my video on how to create more meaning in your life. As a busy working mum, I know how challenging it is to try and do all the things you need to do, but it has to align with your values and purpose. Otherwise, it can feel extremely unrewarding. If you want to have more time and energy for all the things that really matter, then you definitely want to check out that video. I'll see you next time.